I think the union movement um, in providing that during those dark days, continuing to provide that support uh, and that support over a long period of time from the very early days of the MUA, the then MISOs here were providing the uh, satellite phones uh, that were used uh, by the uh, uh, Fallentil and the CNRT. Really a, an important piece of infrastructure. Special shout out to a couple of uh, trade unionists from Western Australia that really did have a big role. And of course, uh, Senator um, Gordon McIntosh was an absolute, the conscience of the Australian Parliament. Uh, Gordon, of course, was uh, began his career as a metally um, and uh, went on to be uh, a senator and he was just absolutely assiduous in making Australia confront what was really going on in East Timor. And of course we had another metally, um, Rivo Gandini, who was uh, really uh, a very instrumental in the, uh, the solid, the more general solidarity movement in Western Australia did extraordinary work and I remember when I was going up uh, for the um, in 1999 to be uh, one of the UN observers, volunteer observers uh, in for the ballot. Revo gave me a whole bank load, a whole bucket of money uh, to take up. He thought well you know we're going to clear out the bank accounts this is it, this is when our guys, uh, when the um, uh, the independence forces are most going to need uh, uh, need that money. So I had this um, money, um, quite a few uh, thousand dollars, burning uh, a hole in my pocket, um, and I was very desperate to get that uh, to the uh, uh, to the right people. And uh, I also had an enormous bag of medical supplies that I had been given by a very senior medical person from. Uh, Royal Perth Hospital to take up because that was the other thing they were desperate for medical supplies and uh, very interestingly we had to go through uh, Indonesia, go through Bali uh, in, uh, in those days and you know I had a few quizzical looks at this giant duffel bag full of medical supplies and uh, uh, trying to smile nicely and assure them that these were all for personal use. Well, I, I was actually really pleased um, last month when uh, I was up as part of the 20th anniversary celebrations uh, for the autonomy vote for East Timor uh, to see Michelle O'Neill and the Australian trade union movement uh, be officially recognised for their incredible contribution uh, that they had made um, for the independence of, uh, of East Timor. So the union movement um, really has been a great leader and helped build that coalition of, of support in Australia uh, to get that change in policy that was so critical uh, for there being that opportunity uh, for that vote uh, uh, for independence and then having uh, that independence uh, acted, that vote acted upon and uh, I, I think we, um, we really uh, see just how unions, as they did with South Africa, can play such a critical role in mobilising, uh, providing direct support but also mobilising public opinion um, in relation to these very important international justice measures. Thank you.